Okay, so we look at Batman Arkham City at 21 by 9 So it doesn't need a mod to run, and it benefits so much from the extra screen width. The Batman games have always positioned the character that you're playing as right up next to the screen on the left hand side, and this means that a huge amount of the screen is blocked from seeing the beautiful world. The extra 21 by 9 width, however, allows you to see past the character on both the left hand side of the screen and also to see more of the world on the right, turning a previously fantastic game into perfection. Okay, maybe a little bit of an exaggeration, but it is a big benefit. Now this isn't to say that 21 by 9 runs perfectly at all. The gameplay is nearly completely supportive of 21 by 9. However, there are moments such as when you're taking out the last person in a fight, when the screen briefly jumps back to 16 by 9 with black bars as it zooms in in slow motion before then returning to 21 by 9. It's a little annoying, but honestly after playing 15 hours of it, I've hardly noticed. The HUD correctly scales to fit the screen, and there is no zooming or stretching of any kind on screen. The main menu is 16 by 9 with black bars, and the same applies to loading screens and cutscenes, unfortunately. CGI cutscenes are also at 30fps, which is really annoying, as the drop in frame rate is so obvious and painful when you're playing at 60fps. But that's a game feature, and it's not a 21 by 9 specific issue. The map is stuck to being just slightly larger than 16x9, with the sides being a match of dark blue, but thanks to the sides being dark blue, or turquoise, or whatever colour it is, I don't know, it means that opposed to black bars, it is far less annoying. The in-game menu appears to be the same as its 16x9 counterpart, however its minimalistic design means that it looks perfect and appears how I would like it to be anyway, so there are no complaints there. Now, onto my biggest issue. The game's performance is not great. So, with every setting on Ultra, including all DirectX's extra features, and anti-aliasing on x2 MSAA, it was impossible to get a steady 60fps on my GTX 970. So, with every setting on Ultra, including all DirectX's extra features, and anti-aliasing on x2 MSAA, it was impossible to get a steady 60fps, so I needed to drop things to about high or highest for some settings, and this appeared to sort things out, with only the occasional fps drop briefly. But yep, yeah, it's just a point to note with the game, as it can be damn demanding when you turn up the settings, but it does look fantastic at Ultra with all the physics running. Overall, it's a well-supported game for Tournament by 9, and as one of my favourite games, and still the best in the Batman series in my opinion, I really advise you to play it at Tournament by 9. So I hope that gives you some information on how the game runs at Tournament by 9. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any other games at Tournament by 9, head over to my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. Have a good day. Joker's got his crew moving through the sewers. Listen up. The last of the Penguin's crews will hold up somewhere up ahead. Joker wants to go.
I'll tell you what I know. Thank you. signal jammer. I'll need to neutralize him so that I can scan the room for targets. It's the bat! Batman's back! I lost! We gotta fight! Now! What the hell is going on? Oh! I just shook someone on go! Can I get that knife on? Go! Find the bloody pepper. I know what you're doing, and it ain't gonna work! Go and hide, now. What's going on? Hey! Get me out of here! Don't move! He's gone! I lost him! We gotta find him! Now! Ah! Do you realize how many bones you've got left for me to break? Oh god, please don't hurt me! I'll tell you what I know! The tracker's signal continues beyond this door, but the door looks like it's been sealed for decades. The assassins must be using another way to get through. These must be the famous mechanical guardians of Wonder City. It looks like their inner workings were very advanced. I'm detecting a kind of memory tape they used, almost a primitive video. Perhaps I can scan and analyze it. is incomplete. This is way ahead of the technology that should have been available back then. It looks like the data is stored in a shared memory pool. Maybe I can retrieve the information from the other guardians down here. Robin! Kill him! 
hurt? Shut your stupid mouth! You're just lucky I need you later. Barb? from Harley? No, she's probably still crying. She better get over the boss soon. She's turning into a liability. What's Robin doing here? He's dead. Maybe she'll calm down. Doubt it. She's lost it. How do we know she won't just kill all of us in some crazy revenge-driven plan? Wouldn't be the first time someone tried something like that. That is a good point. We should get a plan together. Work out how to get the hell out of this place if things turn bad. the sucker it'll be cool then what nothing did you just make a move on me no i, I mean i'm just being friendly i need that help It's done right. Harley's overreacting. That man came through here. What's Robin doing here? Go on. Pick it up. No way, man. That thing's dangerous. He What's Robin doing here? Tim, what's going on? Have you 
Have you found him? 